wheels twisted here again. Well, I just keep finding myself shaking my head more and more every damn day of what the hell is getting in the heads of the rest of you truck drivers out here, or so-called truck drivers. I don't even think you should even consider yourself a truck driver. I think you should consider yourself a damn steering wheel holder. Hell, you can't even hold on to that half the damn time. <laughs> Shit, if you're holding on to it, they probably wouldn't be as many crashes as they are. But anyway, I mean, seriously, I mean, where did this self-entitledness come from, driving a truck? I mean, too damn lazy to park your damn truck. Too damn lazy to, you leave your damn truck set on a fuel island, or you'll leave your truck parked up close to a building somewhere when there's a hundred damn parking spots back there. Too damn lazy to walk. I don't understand how you figure you're entitled to park that damn close to the building because your ass is too lazy to walk from the damn parking lot with a designated parking area for one of these trucks. I'm guessing it's probably because you kind of like this fool right here. So instead of turning around and backing in from the driver's side, this driver here would rather pull in and try to back back across and wiggle himself in between and out of here. Now you younger drivers, don't do this crap. Because now the only thing you're going to do is get out here, block up the road, and you're backing in and putting yourself at risk of running into something or someone because you can't see as we're blatantly sitting here watching let's see what he's going to do here wow Now, here comes a truck around the corner. Let's see if uh, he comes around and gets in his way. Let's just see. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Look how close he's getting to that trailer. Now nope, they can't get it. Now he's also running the risk of hitting that oversized load over on the other side of him. He made that a lot harder on himself than he needed to. A whole lot harder on himself than he needed to. Now. Why the hell would you put yourself in a situation like that to try and back into a spot? When the only thing you had to do was going around the block here, quit being lazy, go around the block, come around there and back into the driver's side where it'd been a lot easier for you to see. You wouldn't have put yourself at risk of having an accident. You wouldn't have put yourself in risk of running over somebody because they're in your blind spot. You wouldn't have bumped into another truck on the left or the right of you from trying to pull into that aisle like that and back across. I don't understand what the hell's going on with you boys and girls out here anymore. This is getting to be ridiculous. I mean, to the point that there ain't no damn professional driver out here anymore. You're a bunch of steering wheel holders. I don't understand this crap. And I tell you, I, I've had a good career by being a truck driver out here. I've had a good fun career until the last few years. The last few years, you just went to hell in a handbasket. And then you guys, you guys will be so tough to park your truck wherever you want and all this crap right here, but you guys won't stand up to your dispatchers. You'll hear them crying. Well, dispatchers forcing me to go do this, forcing that damn dispatcher ain't forcing you to do shit. Grow up here. You grew up here to park up there instead of walking up there and being everybody's way and can get all violently angry about somebody when they say, why'd you park your truck like that? You parked it right in the damn way. You know, you get up sure enough to defend that shit, but you can't stand up for yourself to your employer. Don't make no sense. It's almost like standing to poop. Just don't make no sense. You people need to get this shit together out here. Y'all need to quit acting like a bunch of silly little brats, spoiled kids. Park your damn truck. 
Don't take your 30 minute break up on a damn fuel island. Don't be doing that crap. You know, it's acceptable to pull up to the fuel island, get you, you know, get you some fuel, pull forward, run in there and take you a restroom break, grab you something to drink and back out there with your fuel receipt and get on on the road. But don't go in there sitting down to eat. Don't go in there sitting down to take a big healthy dump. Don't go in there monkeying around in the restaurant for an hour and a half. No, go park your truck. And you know those little yellow lines beside the fuel island that says no parking? Now, if y'all here driving a truck, y'all ought to be able to read. It says no parking. Don't park there. You're in a damn way. Don't do that crap. I don't understand what the hell is going on. If somebody knows what the hell and, and where <laughs> this all enlightened, enlighten me where all this bullshit where people come up with this whole entitlement and ignorant just the pure ignorance of parking like that and blocking other people in just because your ass is too lazy please somebody tell me what the hell anyway guys stay safe out there for crying out loud if you're one of them ones parking like that doing shit like that parking on a fuel line going there monkeying around for two hours get the hell out of our way next time guys twist be safe